Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good time today. Well, the compliment of the season to you anywhere you are. And also, I want to welcome you to yet another episode of Unstable Journey with Steven. Well, today I'll be talking about the UK driving test. Yes, the UK driving test. Well, uh, which is organized by the uh, DVLA. They're known as a driver and vehicle standard um, standard agency. Yeah, the standards agency. Yes, I'll be talking about the test, how the test has been conducted, what you are, what you expect in the test. Yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Well, uh, before you sit the test, the test uh, is conducted in various centers across across the UK. You know. Uh, in Birmingham, there are various centers, I think close to four centers or more, but I don't know. But I only know that where I live, there is a center close by. So I registered, I pick. You have to go to the gov.uk and you book the test. And the test costs around uh, £23. Yes, I think so. Yeah, that's what uh, how much it costs for you to sit the test. Yes. The DVLA driving test is divided into two parts. You have the theory test, which is also further divided into two. You have the multiple choice question and also the hazard perception. The multiple choice question is for a period of, I think it's 56, 56 to 57 minutes for you to finish it. And also, um, you know, you have the, it has the stuff, um, it's made up of 50 questions, yes, you know, and four options. You have four options when you're writing the exams and all that. And it's a computer-based exam. So you have to be computer literate for you to sit the exam. I don't know if there are any other um, uh, options meant for those who are not, especially those who cannot read and write or those who are not computer literate. I do not really know about that, but uh, the general stuff is, is that it's been conducted uh, on is a computer-based test. So the MCQ question is made up of 50 questions and you know you have to answer uh, 47 questions based on various uh, the, uh, the motorway uh, the motorway rules, road rules, alertness, you know, maintenance of vehicle and the rest. There are so many. So other days a hop I would I'll put right about now, you know, and also I will explain everything in the course of the video and all that. And also 47 questions on that. And the three questions, usually towards the end, you have three questions, which will be a video based stuff, which will ask you a question about, okay, if a vehicle is heading towards the direction and, you know, you get to see a particular sign what does that sign mean? What would you do in such situation and all that? So you need to answer the story question, which is a video uh, stop on the MCQ and all that. Why the hazard perception? It's made up of 14 clips and and that 14 clips, you know, you need to answer those questions and you have to be careful because it's all about, it's, it's this computer generated images that you see there of a moving vehicle and when you get an hazard what is an hazard an hazard is usually something that can either impede your driving or maybe affect you when you're driving either for you to reduce your speed or for you to change direction or course when you're driving and all that that's the that's the essence of uh, as a perception and one thing about it it has to do with the various road signs you see you know what when you see a road sign what are you expecting you know if it's that of um uh the speed limit or the maximum speed on that particular road you need to be on the alert if you see a kind of a bend road you know you have to be on the alert and all that that's just what the other perception test would be just like i said earlier on i'll be there'll be a video that would be on this part, which I would explain everything, you know, in the course of the other perception stuff and all that. Yes. So now let's talk about the. I will talk about the pass mark. Yes. In order for you to successfully pass the exams, you need to score four to three in the MCQ question out of fifty, and also you need to score forty-four uh, 
questions, you know, get it right out of seven to five years in order for you to pass. And you must score above that, either that score or above that in order for you to pass. You don't have to score. If you score uh, 45 for recent out of 50 and you score 20, 42 out of 75, you know, the 45 is the MCQ question and also the 42 is the hazard perception uh, test or question, you know, you won't be considered to have successfully passed that exam. So you need to score that. So you can check uh, the, the gov.uk, DVNA, you know, they'll tell you the information, what you need and what is expected of you in order for you to pass the exam successfully, you know, and the rest. Yes. And also, uh what is again yeah so immediately you pass the test you know the, the the theory test lasts for a period of two years you know you need to uh you know book for your uh your particular test which you need to you know before then it's advisable for you to get uh to book for a mock trial before you book for your test so that in case there are some things that you cannot uh you find difficult to do you need to perfect it before you do that yeah because if you do that and you do if you book your practical test and you do not um pass you know you have to uh go and do retake the practical test but not the theory test the theory test uh is valid for a period of two years so i will show you my my score this happened to be the score i had you know 47 out of 50 when it comes to the mcq and 51 out of 75 in the hazard perception test and over here you see this of uh, the the required grade that you need to score in order for you to um to pass the um the exam yes so that is just it well i uh, on this note i would want to wish um uh, everyone that will be, that will sit the test you know success you know i you know if you follow through this particular video i believe you're going to pass although uh not that you need to follow everything but i think this would help you out when it comes to preparation for this uh for the dvna driver's test yes so thank you so much for your time thank you for and please please and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel please thank you and uh, also thank you to my subscribers thank you we have to, we're 20 now thank you so much i know we can do more so please do well to like subscribe and also you know share this thing any comment any question you need to ask you know you need to drop it on the comment section i promise i'll get back to you yes so uh after this video i will show you the app what and what the app can do for you yes and how you can prepare with it here thank you so much and i will see you on our next episode do have a lovely day see you later bye this is the official uh, dvsa theory test kit uh, which you can get on the apple store or ios it costs the sum of four pounds 99 uh, 99 pence so which is equivalent to five pounds in order for you to download it on your phone so after you finish downloading uh you see the test itself yeah the test is uh, divided into two just like i said earlier on you have the theory test and the hazard perception test the theory test here has to do you know on that displays you see the study practice mock tests and you know in order for you to do you know you have to go through the study you know it talks about the various uh, these are the various topics that you have to see you know alertness attitude safety and your vehicle you know there are various things this is what they're going to test you on so you just click on one of them you know you see everything there observation and spatial you no know, you just reach through and one thing about age is that as soon as you're done reading that particular topic you'll be tested on it so you see uh i'm done here so uh as soon as i'm done here you know they'll ask you if you want to you know if you want to do this stuff you know the you know the practice test you know you pick on the practice test you know you pick on whatever you want to be uh test upon so you just click on all topic and you answer the question look at the question and these are the answers you know there are four options you have to pick one that is just it so once you're done it's 
once you're done you know it gives you your your answers you know and also your mark and to see if there's some places if there are some areas you do not uh, get you know you just need to uh to go back to read on it and all that yeah so that is the accent and just like i said and also it has um are the practice videos you know i told you about the practice video look at one of the practice video so if you look at it there is a vehicle who is who happened to be in the roundabout and decided to take uh this one after this uh particular uh scenario you know they'll ask you a question about um just watch it and you know then there'll be a question that will pop up um after the video and this is a video as you approach the roundabout there's a sign showing a single white bar on the green which is this single right right but what does that mean so th this is it shows that the roundabout is on red yards ahead so if you do not understand if you are com if you're confused on what to do what you just have to do is for you to click on explain then it will explain everything for you to see you know Two white bars is 200 hertz, two white bars. So ex explain everything so you understand, you know, next time you see the question and all that. So that's the video. And I said that the video is divided into, there are just three, you know, out of the three in the multiple choice question. And when you're done, uh, you have the hazard perception here. So the hazard perception is immediately you finish your your video so you see this intro this intro will always come up you know tell you what and what you have to do to uh, what is expected of you and all that just go through it and prepare for your hazard perception test and all Imagine that you are driving along. so this is the practice so let me do this practice for you to see what is expected of you you know there is this um so I happen to be on my way now what you are going to do you need to watch out on sign there's a sign here i click there's a red uh flag on that which shows that there's perception uh there's an hazard perception which i've suspected so i'll just keep watching see if there's any uh form of thing that might come on my way in the course of driving you know just pay attention wrap attention when you're driving you know you look pay attention to things details and the rest so there are, so i'm just like look at this one two three four because you know it, it happens to be an hazard you know driving into it so that might impair my driving it might slow me down or i might change course so i have to click four on it but mind you you have to be careful the number of time you click because if you click more than 10 times you know you get zero and you need to observe the the quicker you see the az you know the more uh likelihood for you to have this and you could say i have four over five so that you see then just look at the review and you see how it's made you know i clicked on this first you know this happened to be the sign which is one then I'm going again because of that bike you see the bike and when you see the bike you know you observe the you you pay attention to the speed you know you judge the distance you judge the speed in order for you to perceive if it's hazardous to you you know if it's an hazard yeah so it's coming so you start clicking because look at those right to show that this is an hazard yeah that is just it so i uh, believe uh, you just have to do download this app it's going to help you in your preparation so i wish you all the best as you prepare for your test you know prepare to sit the test and you know when you pay attention to everything to details and all that i believe the sky will be your limit thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye